Hello everybody, this is Robbie, and here's what we've all been waiting for. The Puppet Theater. We've got three of these, and we are in control. Well, as much control as the game gives us. And so we're gonna try and send viral things into chaos. Let's start with Goldilocks and the three bears. If you like this, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified about my latest videos. If you like this video, hit the like button and comment if the comments are on on whether you like the like Arthur's games. Arthur's Puppet Theater presents Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Welcome to Arthur's Puppet Theater, where you choose what happens. First, choose who's playing each part. Who do you want to play the lead role? As Goldilocks? I'm ready for this. Okay. Because she's getting tortured. Who should be Baby Bear? Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah, eh, I'm not sure. They're all gonna be chaotic anyway. Who should be Baby Bear's parent? Hey! Ooh, God. And that means Buster is the narrator. Cool. Wait, what? What do you mean, parent? There's supposed to be three bears. Now, on with the show. Okay. No me. Three bears, as directed by you. Once upon a time, on. On. A cloudy day, a family of bears was walking in the woods while their dinner cooled off. There was a baby bear and. Ah, oh, those are our only choices. Great, these are all kitty choices. Oh well, we can still try and I and spiral things out of control. Really? I think it's just right. Tap the arrow to go back to where Oh my god. Well, I'm going to wear my super warm Oh, come on! I can't choose the name! I was going to pick Satan because of how hated this character was, but... You know what? We're making her a fish today. Well, it's not gonna rain. Yeah, oh boy. She was tired, and her tummy was grumpy, when all of a sudden, she saw something. Aha! I spy a cozy tap the arrow to the new story with different looking sandcastles. Perhaps they have algae to eat, or even brine shrimp. Tap the arrow I think I made a bad choice in making a your goldy fish. Oh my god, Arthur, shut up! I keep pausing it because I just... Oh my god, I'm cringing. Now she didn't know it, but this was the bear's house. Goldifish swam through a garden full of... Oh, honeybee hives! 
Ives, finally! I was expecting the bees to attack, but... No, we just have to make fish puns now. What have I done? Stop saying blub blub! I'm trying to make this chaotic! Why did I make her a fish? Oh my god, I thought it would be like, but she couldn't breathe, or, but, she, but we had to change costumes because fish can't breathe on land, but nope, it's now just full of fish puns. Oh my god, oh my god, I subjected myself to this torture. No, no, we're going with porridge. <clears throat> yeah, screw it. No spaghetti, no tacos. I sure do love porridge. Blub, blub. Tap the arrow to oh my god. <laughs> I know, I know, I keep pausing it. But Jesus Christ, this is so cringy. Oh, I get it. Why did I make her a fish? Oh my god, stop with the puns! Goldyfish wanted to sit down and rest her fins. She looked around the room and spotted three... <laughs> okay, which is the least comfy? The train seat! I know, I know, I know. I, again, I was just, tr I'm just trying to make things chaotic. And you're giving it up. Uh, you're trying to give us an opportunity to control things. Uh, things. I just want to make it chaos. I want to annoy every single soul here. Mm, oh my god, it's like the 10 fish pod you've made! Ah, just right. But unfortunately, she was too heavy for the little seat. <laughs> wow! Oh. Oh. Oh no, this is Shrimply a disaster! I know, I know! God, you broke a chair and the best you and you feel no remorse and it's just Oh man, this is shrimply a disaster. Go home! You're sleeping on the uncomfortable hammock today! Three hammocks! First she lay down on the big hammock. Ew! Back and forth! Back and forth! Too swingy! Blub blub! STOP SWING! BLUB BLUB! 
At least you didn't make a fish pun. I'm not laughing because the pun was good. I'm laughing because it's like, it's like, speak of the devil. Here's another fish pun. So then she lay down on the smallest one, and it was horrible. You know what? At the end of this, I'm making up my own story. Oh my god! You faked giving us control! Oh, here it comes! Oh, no, oh, that's not... Hey, Papa Bear's not home from work yet. Hmm, should we wait for him? Nah, let's just eat all this food and give him jack shit. That's good for us, right? Yeah, Papa Bear... Yeah, apparently we don't like Papa Bear for some reason, so he doesn't get any food. Food. That's what I'm thinking is going on here. Then the bears noticed that something else was wrong. Oh, someone's been eating my porridge. Tap the arrow to go back to where I were. guess. I guess you. Uh, no, I still see porridge in there. Then the bears noticed something across the room. Someone's been sitting in my toy train seat. Someone's been sitting in my toy train seat, and they broke it to pieces. Oh, oh my god, that sounded horrible. You know what? We could crash cymbals or clap our hands, but you know what? Let's scare the shit out of her. <gasps> Wait, what? What? <laughs> I was not expecting that. Like, oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. I may regret choosing to make a Goldilocks a fish, but I don't regret choosing that. Wow! You got caught start, start ruining parts of their home, and the best you can do is come up with another stupid fish pun! Here we go, let's see the choices! Get mad, yes, yes, yes! This is our chaos moment! Yes! Goldyfish had only one thought. Escape! I wish I could stay, but I have to catch away. I don't stand it! This one's dead! Get her! Now the bears noticed that something 
God damn it! Thought this would be chaotic. Or just don't break into anybody's house at all. So. You know what? I did promise that we do all of these, so we are gonna do all of these. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm never, ever picking DW with the main character again. Ever! Okay, yeah, I did promise you that we do all of these, so let's do all of these and at least try to create chaos. I have a title for this video. All of those public theaters, but we try to make things spiral out of control. Why? Alright, so basically, we're not doing any more fish puns. Nitri! Oh god, I hope you're not annoying. Who should be the big bad wolf? Big! Okay, so it's Big Bad Wolf, obviously DW, because apparently she's hated. Yes! Yes, I get to be Satan! <clears throat> Who should be Granny? Oh. Yeah, Arthur, you narrate this one. Doesn't the granny get eaten? And that means I am the narrator. Hey, thanks! Thanks for... I don't know. And now, on with the show! Okay, let's see what choices we have now. Okay, this time we are take doing music. Actually, no, because that might be copyright claim. Mm. Oh, God. Okay, so it could be Red Riding Hood, Orange Cowboy Hat, or Green Pirate Hat. But I picked fish last time, and there were a bunch of puns. So who's to say what happens? If I pick the cowboy hat, it'll be like, Yee-haw! Oh, giddy up and go- Oh, but a bunch of that and green pilots like, Arr, I'm going to walk the tank, me mateys. Oh, which do I prefer? Mm. Okay, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, my Nemo. Okay, Green Pirate Hat it is. Please don't be a bunch of pirate punts. Mm. Little Green Pirate Hat. Arrgh, I be Little Green Pirate Hat. Knew it! The Shiver Me Timbers, a pirate. Little Green Pirate Hat headed through the forest full of... Um, okay, it is a... Forest, after all. But seeing as how there's a. But seeing. Uh, but. Hmm. Okay. You know what? For the next puppet theater, I'm gonna be eeny meeny miny mo my way through all of these. Just to see if I can create chaos that way. Because obviously, doing this isn't working. But I'm just gonna close my eyes here and pick something. Okay, skyscrapers. Skyscrapers. Arg. What be these strange looking ships? Tap the arrow to You haven't seen here. buildings before. Oh my god. She looked up at the sky and it was Okay, you know what? For this one, I'm going to close my eyes and pick something. Sunny. Okay. Okay, more choices. Okay, let's see. Hmm. 
Oh. Walking to Granny's house. Okay. Just walking. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Oh boy. It's like I just still doing that. I wonder what would have happened if I picked something else. Oh well, let's see what happens here. Oh god. Okay, ear warning. I Haha, <laughs> it's Satan! So basically, DW is always going to be the villain, because everybody else thinks she is in the show, so... Naturally! Ahoy there, Scallywag! I be having a surprise for me granny! Oh god. Ooh, a surprise! What kind of surprise do you have in your... Okay, let's see it. Toolbox, okay. Toolbox. I have a hammer and nails, so I can help me granny build a crow's nest on her house. You got the gender wrong. <laughs> Okay, so you know what? Be okay, because this is personal information being shared here, I'm gonna pause the video for a little bit. And so expect a jump cut. You're not knowing where Granny lives, guys. Guys, you don't want to go bothering her. All right, there we go. The wolf. The wolf, wolf and the pirate, I'm a hack, I know, but you won't, because you aren't going to bother Granny with anything. And with that, Little Green Pirate Hat went off to Granny's house. But the Big Bad Wolf knew a shortcut and planned to get there first. Ooh. All right, let's see. Whew. Hi. <laughs> <clears throat> Come on, where is it? Okay, there we go. Oh boy. Oh, it's my granddaughter. Though she is a little early. Coming, dear. But when Granny opened the door, it wasn't her granddaughter at all. Oh. Ah. Closet. There we go. You lost her in the closet. Watch out for the dust bunnies in there, Granny. Oh no, not the dust bunnies. With granny out of the way. It was time for the wolf to put his plan into action. He dressed up as Granny and waited for a little green pirate hat to arrive. But he didn't have to wait long. The doorbell rang. 
Oh. Oh, okay. Um. There we go. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was kind Okay, that was kind of loud. Um. Okay, I'm not including, like, a sound warning because I don't think it's that loud, but, um. Yeah, I'm so sorry if you're wearing headphones. With the doors open, let yourself in. Well, shiver me timbers, Franny. You look great. Okay. But when Little Green Pirate Hat got near her granny, she noticed something weird. Well, Granny, I'll be bamboozled. Oh, boy. And, uh, Granny, your ears appear to be of an unusually large size. Oh, boy. All the better to hear you with, dearie. Arrgh, and if I may be so bold, Granny, your teeth look like oh. the jaws of a... I'll be being boozled. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not laughing at the lines, I'm laughing <laughs> Because it's like, well done me. Well done me, Granny. You are, oh, oh, shiver me, Timbers, you are Granny. Just smiling. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, God, what did I, okay, let's see this. Oh god, leapfrogging! How does that look? Arr, I need to jump like I be escaping from the stinking jellyfish. Okay. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Wait, what? What? Um. Um. Mm. Martial artist, there we go. A martial artist? That's not how the story. A black belt in karate, to be precise. Get ready oh, first. God. <laughs> you don't scare me. I want that oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, you know what? I want a big fight to break out. So the weapon that could hurt... <sighs> Ducky couldn't hurt, Teddy Bear couldn't hurt, Ukulele could hurt. Okay, I'm not laughing at the pun, but just... <laughs> like, that was a terrible pun, but... Jesus Christ. I that was just like, let's see if we can strike a court. Like, I just cut out the line. Ooh. Uh -huh. What? Uh, this brand is too tough for me. Top too arrows. tough? To you went over the ukulele. It's made of hard wood. I'm out of here. And she leaves. No consequences ever. Oh my god. Mm. Or anyone! Okay. Okay, so that was doing this with my eyes closed, except for that one part with the whole thing. Top 
I, I wanted a real fight, but no. No, this is toddlers. Oh, boy. Okay, so the final puppet theater thing is Cinderella. And, of course, DW will always, always be the villain. <laughs> All right, let's try and see if we can do chaos this time with an eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Welcome to Arthur's Puppet Theater. Not with the characters, choose just with happens. choices. First, choose who's playing each part. Who do you want to play the lead role? Uh, Cinderella. I mean, <clears throat> Naturally. Yeah, because you're a woman. Yeah, you're the her fairy helper. When do we get to the villain role? Who should be the prince? Wait. What about the stepmother? What about the stepmother? There's supposed to be a stepmother! An evil stepmother? You know... In the story of Cinderella, it's like... Like, Cinderella just has to do chores all the time, and... Oh, God. At least... Okay, so... W's the narrator. Frick me. And that means D.W. is the narrator. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? Okay, okay, we're still doing eeny, meeny, miny, mo. First off, we kill off the narrator. There was a young lady named Cinderella. She lived with her stepmother and stepsister, who happened to be of the evil sort. Then why don't they have any parts to play? At the very least, couldn't there have been like the stepmother or something? We, it's like four people playing the parts in this play. You can't do Cinderella with four people unless you want to unless you want to take a knife and chop the story in half. They made her do chores all day, and she was never allowed to have any fun. Tap oh wow! It's not like you could sympathize with that because you're basically Caillou, D.W. Oh. You have it of, out of Caillou? Caillou is a little brat. And, and whose naive parents always support his actions, no matter what. Whether he, he's pinching his little sister because of jealousy, or whining about not going to the circus, he's always rewarded. Which is not how parenting works, and it's encouraged younger kids to act the same way. And it's finally been cancelled. So, yeah, Kai is a little brat. Maybe he has games I'll be playing them next. Actually, I'm gonna try and find one. One of those games where Caillou isn't a whiny little brat. And who... And whose helicopter parrot saved the day. Alright, let's see. Oh, okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, 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 meeny, miny, mo. Mo. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, it's just the fairy godmother thing some used to much. I want a fairy inventor. I want to know what a fairy inventor can do. I'm, I'm sorry. So we're going to have to break the eeny, meeny, miny, moe rule just this one time. <clears throat> a fairy inventor appeared. Ha ha! I'm here! 
I mean, who are you? Tap the arrow to go back to where you were. Oh, what boy. Why, I'm your very inventor. My science project for today is... Oh, no. No, 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 no. No! I really extremely hope there were no inventor puns. As in, like, I'm gonna invent my way out of this predicament, or I guess I need to invent some other bad pun. I can't think of any. The concept of an inventor fairy godmother is great, and but a show for toddlers shouldn't integrate this into a, into a Cinderella story. Transcombobulator. Using big words makes me smart. Oh my god, again? I'm afraid. Oh my god, again? I get the concept of an astronaut Cinderella is so great. Okay, new rule. I only do the eeny meeny miny mo for choices of threes. So, astronaut, I'm so sorry, but just I'm curious. I'm really, really curious what an astronaut Cinderella would look like. A spacesuit. Space process is complete. Over. The I was curious. Mm -mm. And now my curiosity is gone, and it's been replaced with. Mm -mm. And now my curiosity has been replaced with fear. You know, fear that there's going to be many bad space puns. I'm sorry, picking the picking the correct things turns this play into a children's joke book. <clears throat> Look, like with the Goldie Fish thing, like this is simply a disaster. Or, or I guess we need to fish for more poor. Or I guess I need to. Well, I guess I need to swim away, or blub 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 blub. Like Dad, I'm just afraid of the bad puns. Very inventor aimed her transcombobulator again and said, "I hope this works. Last time, half the kingdom lost power." Wait, what? Tap the arrow to go back to where you were. Or the new button to make a new story with different choices. Um. Okay. Okay, no, no, no. It's Arthur. The last two stories are chock full of things. Okay, don't be two choices. Don't be two choices. Ah, oh, yes, thank God. In, okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny. No. Okay, you know what? Screw the eeny meeny miny mo rule entirely. We're picking things ourselves. Elves, and since we're already an astronaut, we need space boots. I want this. Oops. And if we get to choose where the ball is, I want it to be on the moon! Yeah, bitch! Woo! These are perfect for doing the moonwalk. Oh, no, 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 no. The inventor aimed her transcombobulator at a pumpkin and said, I usually work with potatoes, but this will have to do. Oh, God. This feels like something that belongs on r slash I am very randomly. I usually work with potatoes, but this will have to do. Like, oh my god, it feels like something you'd like. Wow, that's so random. I usually work with potatoes. This time I'm working with pumpkins. All so random. Okay, please have space stuff. Please have space stuff. Yes! A pumpkin rocket! Ooh, yes!
Oh my god, this is the best one yet! <sighs> Wait, or else what? I mean, in all the story goes, all of this will be with... Yeah, all of this will be taken away, yada yada yada, but... But you're an inventor! You're not a fairy godmother. So, you need to tell me... What'll happen? Okay, never mind. Finally gonna have some fun?! She's in an astronaut space suit, her pumpkin is a rocket. And, and if we get to choose where the ball is, she's going to space. Of course she's going to have fun. Come on, please let me choose where the royal ball is. Please, please. Come on, come on. Let me choose where it is. No. Damn it! I wanted it to be on the moon. Man. Prince Charming, Prince Spot. Let's just go with Prince Charming. I mean. A prince man will go beep boop beep. Hi, you were great beep boop beep. And princess and prince megastar will probably use some nineties kid lingo like, yeah, dude, this party's totally tubular. Oh, what's up, man? Yo, 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 this place is lit. Dutch stuff like that. So, you know, I'm actually kind of curious what that would look like. Actually, I know what the prince man would do, but hmm. You know what? Let's play Prince Megastar. Let's see what happens. Don't do kids lingo. Don't do this. Go. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, I'll choose the dialogue. Please. Uh, um. Okay, now I do eeny, meeny, miny. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Okay. Shall we dance? Cinderella didn't need to think twice before she said. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Okay, so the middle option. We can be angry. You know what? A goal is to turn into one story, at least one story into chaos, so you know what, let's get angry! Oh yeah, we didn't think twice! Zero gravity is better for dancing. I predict a fairy tale love <laughs> Oh, you just got me, Chad. Yeah, they had such a wonderful time dancing after Cinderella just insulted Prince Megastar. <laughs> Why is <laughs> Why is the story going on? <laughs> oh my god! I honestly expected things to go south, but nope, nope. It's just, it's, uh, it's just you suck. Look, and so they had a wonderful time dancing. <laughs> oh my god. Suddenly, the clock began to strike 12. And now, now what happens? You must return by midnight. What the? Else, but a boy! <laughs> control requested we scrub this mission and go directly to the Oh boy. Social media, don't make me post a sad emoji. At least give me your account name. 
Oh God, there's that lingo. Oh no. But darling, the train. Oh, I just made hey, the prince. The princess is one true love out to be kind of a jerk. It's like, book with trending on social media. Don't make me post the sad emoji. I need my attention. Like, that's what I'm thinking about now. I just ruined a pivotal character. Oh, my God. Okay, we got to get this over with. We have 15 minutes before the recording stops. But Cinderella had already run off, losing one of her space boots along the way. Up. Outside the castle walls, Cinderella heard a final stroke of midnight fade away. Suddenly, her spacesuit, her space boots, and her rocket ship all transformed back to their original form. Oh. With a loud... You know, let's hear this. I think these are fireworks. <laughs> Bubbles. Oh wait, whoops. <laughs> oh god. And so Cinderella walked His future princess who would insult him for <laughs> Um you know let's just search in some random log cabin first. Wait, what? Back to where you were. Put new buttons to make a new story with different choices. Wait, what? Okay. Baby bear, have you seen my dance partner? Sorry, Arrow, go back to where you were. Oh no, I made the dialogue overlap. Okay, so I think I, uh, played these in the right order. But the prince was determined, so he went on his way to search throughout the kingdom. Okay. Later that day, Cinderella was cleaning her stepfamily's house when she heard the knock on the door. You, you, you! Yep, yep, again, I just made Prince Charming. You know, Prince Charming of the Cinderella story out to be a selfish jerk who only uses people for f people to skyrocket to fame. At least in my opinion. I think that all the social media lingo is supposed to be funny, but to me, it just makes this character seem selfish. Like, You'll star in my new romantic comedy, Two Goats and a Moat. Like, that alone just sounds like he's gonna use her uh, for fame and, and power and money. And just, oh, god damn. The moat. And if you will have me, I will also be your husband. Feel free to insult me whenever. Cinderella tried on the space boot, and of course, it fit. Oh, boy. And then they lived happily ever after because yes. Surprisingly, I found someone I love more than myself. <laughs> oh my god, he is selfish! <laughs> oh my god, he is selfish! He has an ego! An inflated ego! Surprisingly, I found someone I love more than myself. <laughs> oh my god, this is the new selfish Prince Charming. 
Oh god. My true my true love, you know, the person that will use to skyrocket to money and fame. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Me too. See you later, alligators. No, not you too. Oh. And what's the moral? Huh? What's the moral? What was the moral of this story? What's the moral? And the moral of the story is, if you ever have the chance to dance in a castle, do it. These and morals are... You the end. Your morals are broken. Tap the play button to watch the show you read. Okay, um... That was... Something? Alright, what show is next? Because that was all the games in the author show. Okay, so let's take a look see. So, we are still going in alphabetical order. So. Ooh, Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that. Hmm, okay, let's see how many games he has. Three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen. Nineteen. Nineteen! Okay, so, um, I'm hoping I get to see more puppet theater stuff in the future. And I really hope you enjoyed this. Ready for games. Next time, cat! Next time. Don't you worry. Now then, uh, again, I had, okay, I had quite a bit of fun there, as you just saw, so, okay. I hope you like this, and, um, see you next time for Cat in the Hat, and again, I really hope I get to do more pop or stuff where I control the story, that, that'd be full, so much fun, not confusing like AI Dungeon, but kind of like the other thing, because that was, that was pretty fun and pretty good, and, and I think the Cinderella one was the best one, so, yeah, this is the longest video ever, oh boy, see you next time for Cat in the Hat games.